Good afternoon to my lovely people. How are we all doing? Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I, how we are, we made our all cross soup. Again, here we have a very special all cross soup that I am about to show you guys. In this okra soup, I have many type of things that I am adding in into it. It is special and delicious. Try it guys. This recipe is the best recipe ever that we are looking for at home. So in here, I have my pomo here. This pomo is into two. They have the fat one and the slim one. I'm I have to parboil it with my with my little um, uh, with my little parboiling meat water. As what I'm using in this okra, I cut this okra into two. I divide it into two. Sorry, guys. This one I slice it by my hands. I divide it into two when. You guys understand what I mean? I divide it into four, then I cut it with my palm hands because I'm tired of grinding. And in here, I have the one for grinding. So there is a differentiate between the one for hand and also one for grinding. So I different it so that I will have the, I need this uh, one that I am looking for, things that I'm looking for inside. I have also my ugu leaf here, fresh ugu leaf. I've already washed it properly. So in here, I also have my crayfish two, two crayfish maggi and also maggi cube and also my fresh pepper. Guys, this soup is going to be very sweet. I've already added my, my meat water with my pomo. I want it to parboil a little bit and also have my mushroom. You guys know what is mushroom, right? I, I always use this because it brings a lot of taste inside a food items. Here I also have my fresh. I have many items I'm adding for this soup. And I believe this soup is going to be the best things ever I ever used. I also have my fresh fish and my meat. I have my fresh fish and a little bit here snare melt a little i'm just adding the little snare meat so i'm going to be adding the snare meat right now with the tomato pot boil a little because we all know that all cross soup and also the fish actually so that it will all boil in because the meat i've already parboiled the meat i'm using a um what am i using this time around i'm using um i'm using um Guys, this is our meat that I am using. I'm using a turkey meat. That's what we all are using today for our special soup with this fresh fish and so on things that I'm adding with it. I believe our soup we bring the taste we always want. So I'm going to peel out also the some of the maggi that we can use in this now that we are parboiling the meat, parboiling the uh, some of the item that I never parboiled already. So I'm going to add two first, one cube and, and also reduce because I for this water, I added a little water that uh, is extra, but the one I used to cook the meat is also in so so that the salt and also the uh, some things that I use to cook it will not bring more too much of taste and spoil our okra guys So we need to be careful of how we use that is how I do it guys. Hope you guys are doing well I believe you will like this recipe try it at home. You will love what I am doing here So now I'm going to parboil it just a few seconds and see how things are going on.
So in my fresh ugu leaf, I have a lot of one that is still remain. I don't know what to do with it. I can't throw it away, guys. I would like to slice it and also store it in the fridge so that whenever this is my fresh igu leaf i bought it in a few days ago in the market and if i leave it this way it will get spoiled so i use a little one in my okra soup because i know the soup we are going to be eating again will be by the special grace of god a goosey soup and this ugu leaf will pass with it so I have also bitter leaves so that I will not be eating ugu leaf. So that is why I like to store it a little bit. I never store leaf before, but I don't know how this will be. But I probably know that the freezer we always uh, store some. It is made for storing things, but I don't know about leaf, guys. I never store leaf because it's going to get soaked. But I believe the freezer is going to make it well. Because if I, I have a lot of dry one, of ugu leaf, I just need this fresh one because in our area here, we don't see it all the time. I need a fresh one to cook my egusi soup. That is why I'm going to store it in the fridge this time and see how it will be. Guys, if it is good, I will also let you know. If we, everything gets worse, I will let you know that it's not good. For me to store a fresh leaf inside the freezer i don't know how it will be but maybe this my soup will take me a few days before it will finish because we don't eat so fast like that it will take me like four three days four to three days before it to get finished then i'll cook my goosey soup but i'm not going to add ugu inside i'm going to use bitter leaf because then I'm, i will be tired of the leaf and that's why I don't want it to spoil because we bought it with money, guys. We need to also check things that will favor us so that we will not get fought later. I will be cutting the remaining of my ugu leaf while we are boiling our, our meat, our little fish and... And momo and slam it before adding properly the more all ingredients I would like to add it. You will know that cooking this bring the taste first of all instead of cooking it all together with the soup so that we will not get too much melt because we have some time to cook with the milk. Thank you guys for understanding. Make sure you do subscribe to my channel to get more recipe of what I am doing at home. If you love what your sister is doing here, do not forget to ring the bell. Thank you. Thank you for watching. So this is what I have found. I found my full hands, guys. So it's time to cut it. To slice it right now. to do this mm -hmm. later on I'm going to add it with the nylon and like to add it and also store it in normal wear nylon of storing in the fridge in the freezer I mean putting it in the fridge will make it spoil freezer is the best way it cannot get spoiled so just not to take too much of time, a few weeks, let me just say one week, then I will prepare it instead of getting spoiled. So guys, this is what I found here. I'm going to add it with my stone. I'm going to add it with my stone nylon that I'm, I normally use in the freezer. Then that is what we have found in our second 
system leaves. So now we need to turn our our way to because I don't like to pop this too much of a don't want to parboil too much of a of this format so that it will not get spoiled. It will not get too much of melt. So I think it's okay right now, guys. I will be adding my red oil. We mention it in here right now with my spoon, guys. Full two spoon of full one and two and a half. Because I want my okra to be red today. Two and a half, that is what we use with our spoon that we always use. So, very good. I'm going to add in my pepper. Thank you guys. This is I have two and a half ataro dough pepper, hot one, oh. that's some hot one, very, very special hot one. I'm going to also be adding my talking meat that I've already parboiled in a few minutes ago and I filter the water to parboil this for the meantime. So everything in here, I'm going to be adding it right now. So that it will not go wrong too later after parboiling it then in a few minutes and we'll add our okra and so on wow guys are uh, you not coming to enjoy this soup with me this evening are you coming in the evening time to enjoy this soup believe you we do guys because your dear sister is waiting for you. Mm. Our meat is almost to full inside the pot because we have, I think we have over meat here. Mm. Ooh, no leave. Oh. Everything done full already. I'll go to prepare and now let me eat soup with the prepare today. Jesus. Well, I don't boss. <laughs> Oh, for sweetness soup, now we're prepared to day. Ah. Only me to. Today, not today, we are going to see how our soup. How are you going to be? Oh, test on. Mm. Here, I'm going to add my mushroom because this is vomiting water so that we can see how vomitable it is how water i am i'm going to add it and i'm going to add my last curry fruit maggi i'm going to be adding it so that everything will get melt together Just a few minutes to parboil, then we add our leaf and our okra. Guys, is it not too full? I'm thinking about it too. It's too full though. Before everything they do yawa yawa for ground. <laughs> Before it's too fully, fully, fully. The pot I'm using is very big. I don't know why. Maybe the meat is too much. Then we reduce the meat. Right? We reduce the meat so that our everything will go in there. Let's see purple first.
And when I'm seeing it, this pama will melt too. Because I don't like my pama to melt too much because you guys have seen it how I, I boil a little one. I suppose to remove it in the other time. I don't want my pama to instead of the pama to melt, I rather prefer it very strong. This kind of strong one I like. I rather prefer the fish to melt than the bomo. Everything is melting. Mm. I don't think I'll pick it up all, but it's too late. Mm. So, having it now. Uh, I don't think I've finished selecting it, but since I've taken some of it, some of the one. So our meat is now boiling. So the whole thing is boiling right now. I'm going to be adding my okra soup right now. I'm going to be adding it both the one I grounded and the one I cut. So that everything will look so perfectly. And boil together guys how this soup will look like after after I don't deep boil how will it look like puffery pot the item are in charge Woo! What a wonderful. What a wonderful. I don't know if you cover this one. Let me turn it. Popori pop. Popori pop. Popori pop. It's our soup now. Popori pop, guys. You see what a wonderful move. Look how wonderful our okra soup are. Uh -huh. 